Save us from all sicknesses and diseases. Save us from physical diseases, from spiritual diseases, from diseases of the heart, from disease of the mind and brain. Oh Allah, from all types of sicknesses, Allah protect us. Allah give us health. Allah give us good health. Allah give us a life, a healthy lifestyle. Oh Allah, give us a healthy lifestyle. Allah give us a life of safety. Allah give us a life of prosperity. Ya Shafi spiritual, physical sicknesses and diseases. You are well aware of them, Allah. Allah, our internal, batani, spiritual, physical, all diseases, Allah, take them away from us. Eliminate them, Allah. Ya Shabi Ya Shabi Sisters and brothers who have requested du'as, who are sick, who are in hospitals, who have operations, who are waiting for operations and procedures, my Lord, today who have appointments, today for all of them, give them shifa, cure, oh Allah, give them all complete shifa and reward. Allah, whoever is sick, Allah, give them cure and shifa. Oh Allah, give them reward for their sickness and disease and grant them sabr and endurance. Ya Shabi Amru Ya Shabi Amru Ya Shabi Amru This is not only a dua for physical bodily illnesses and sicknesses, rather this is also a dua, supplication for spiritual 
diseases. In other words, inside our hearts for which we do tezkiya, purification, to eliminate those diseases for which we follow the path of suluk, that's the real objective. So the shifa cure for those illnesses is contained in this dua. When uh, sins are pestering an individual too much and he cannot eliminate them to anger, backbiting, envy, jealousy, or the sins of the eyes and the greed of the world. These are all sins, great big sins, big sins. And if a person has these sins, then he can never attain the nearness of Allah. So to eliminate these very sins, a person does tazkiyah, purification. It is stated, isn't it, that success, all of the success of the hereafter, it depends on a person becoming purified, on eliminating these sins. So when a person is stuck and troubled by these sins, then this dua is very beneficial for a solution. When a person says, Ya Shafi al-Amrad, especially, especially during Khatam Khwajgan, when it's being recited, Khatam Khwajgan, because that time is the time of great acceptance during Khatam Khwajgan. So the duas that we are requesting through the wasila intermediary of all the mashayk ikram. So they are very great and valuable duas, alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. So at that time, because... Because it's a great time to make dua, supplication. So at that time when a person, a student says, she, Ya Shafi al-Murad, then those sins for which he is performing uh, the dua and for which he is doing tazkiyah and being given the prescription, then for those dua, uh, sins, deficiencies, keep them in your mind that I am doing dua to Allah, Ya Shafi al-Murad, to emulate eliminate these sins. For example, you have anger, you have jealousy, you have the disease of envy, hatred. So put those diseases illnesses in front of you and Allah please take out my hasad, my envy, my anger then recite this dua alongside that inshallah with Allah's fadl grace then those sins will get reduced and will also be eliminated Ya Yeah, 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 